this video we're going to look at how to post a Sandra report onto the Avid Audio Forms, also known as the DUC, which stands for Digi User Conference. As you may know, Pro Tools audio interfaces and Pro Tools software used to be marketed under the name Digi Design, but that has since changed to just Avid. So if you're having a problem with Pro Tools or a Digi Design or Avid audio interface and you come across the DUC, the first place you should look is the Help Us Help You Read This Before Posting thread. So we'll click that. And that takes us here. In this video we're just focusing on how to post a Sandra report. So we're going to skip this. But if you're having a problem, be sure to read all of this before posting. So posting a Sandra report, you notice further down in this thread, Windows users need to provide a Sandra report. Windows users must provide a Sandra report because computers running Windows could be configured thousands of different ways. There are hundreds of different computer manufacturers or you could have built the computer yourself. Even computers with the same manufacturer name and model may vary slightly on the components that are in the computer. So it's very important to have a Sandra report. So in this red text we see please use SI Software's Sandra Lite application to generate a full system profile and it gives us the link. It also gives us detailed instructions on how to post a Sandra report. So the best way to get your question answered as soon as possible is before even posting your initial post is come to the Help Us Help You thread which you can get to right on the main page of the duck. Read through all this and if you're a Windows user go ahead and get your Sandra report ready. Alternatively if you've already made a post describing your problem and then someone directed you to this thread such as here when someone says start here and they give you a link and that link of course is to the help us help you thread or someone may post something like this this is the post I use a lot it gives you the same instructions as the help us help you thread it also gives you detailed instructions of how to run the Sandra report and then post it on the duck it gives you a link to the Sandra plus a link to the help us help you thread just in case you don't trust my link also note in the help us help you thread it says if you have been referred to this thread and reply without providing the information requested above including the Sandra report for Windows users your post is very likely to be given lower priority in favor of those who have provided complete information it's very important for those trying to help you to have detailed information because no one wants to give you inaccurate information other things you need to post or your DigiDesign, Avid, or M-Audio hardware model. So if you have a 003 or 11 rack, make sure you always post your Pro Tools version. Now your computer model and processor speed will be included in the Sandra report as well as OS version, but you can also post those outside of the Sandra report. Also very important is a concise list of the troubleshooting you've already tried. Please be as specific as possible. So if you've already tried some things, Make sure you include that in your post. Say this is what I've tried and it worked or it didn't work. If it's a plugin you're having problems with, be sure to note the version of the plugin and the exact error code you're getting. If it's a number code, give it the number. If it's a description, give it the description. Be very specific. So now back to the Sandra report. So we see this post. So someone has responded to us. They've given us this post or they've given us a link to this thread. If you come to help us help you thread, we'll click this link. If someone has given us a post with a link included, we'll click that link. Of course, be sure to look in the lower left-hand corner of your browser to see exactly what site you're going to. It should be sisoftware.co.uk. So we click the link. That opens up the SI Software website. The browser I'm using is Google Chrome, by the way. So here we are on the correct website. And reading from the instructions given, under SI Software Sandra, click on download and buy to download the free Sandra Lite version or purchase other versions so you can download the free version alternatively if you think you'll be using Sandra a lot you could purchase it Sandra's a great program and if you have a use for it it's highly recommended but for this video we'll assume you'll only be using Sandra a couple of times so we'll download the free version and also included are other instructions after installing Sandra if we click on the hardware tab run the computer overview then copy and paste into your post here on the duck. 
That's also what's said in the official Help Us Help You thread, as you can see. So here we are on Sandra, and if we remember the instructions given to us on the duck, click on Download and Buy. So right here is the Download and Buy. We click that. Then it says to download the free Sandra Lite version or purchase other versions. So we're back here. Here's the Lite version. Here's the pay versions. We want the Lite version. Come down to download. Then you're given several different options of websites you can download Sandra software from. A site I like to download from is File Hippo. File Hippo has several good programs hosted on that site like CCleaner and of course it has Sandra. But you could also use something like TechSpot. If we were to go to TechSpot, we'll see it's a SI software Sandra Lite. We'll click on the download button right here. We click that and automatically our download will start. Again, I'm using Google Chrome so the download shows up at the bottom and I can save or discard. I'm going to discard it, but you would want to save it. Your browser may of course look different when the download begins. Also, if your download does not begin automatically, you could click here to manually commence the download. We are going to go to File Hippo to download Sandra. So here's the File Hippo website and over here on the right side of the screen is download the latest version. You could also download older versions here in the archives list. But we want the latest version so we click download latest version. Thank you your download will start automatically again I'm using Google Chrome so that shows up down here and I would click save. And with my internet connection it takes about one minute. Yours may vary. Again, if the download does not start automatically, you could click this link right here. So our download's about done, and now it's complete. Now again, I'm on Google Chrome, so I can just click this, and it will open up the Sandra Lite installer, as you can see down here. Keep in mind, it may take a couple seconds to open up. Alternatively, if you close down to your browser, you come down to your Start menu, Computer, and go to Downloads. From there, you can launch the Sandra installer application by either double clicking or if you have a problem you can right click and then choose run as administrator but we've already got it going so we will continue click I accept hit next next then it'll show you where it will be installed default is fine we hit install and you may have a Java window pop up I happen to know that this system has the most up-to-date Java but to be sure you should always choose install and I'll do that anyway then Java will download the most up-to-date installer and as you can see this software has already been installed on your computer would you like to reinstall it I'm going to choose no because I already have that software on here if your Java is not up-to-date be sure to install on the latest version so I'll choose no and then my installation is done you may have a few more pop-ups saying you need a certain program installed as well such as a certain Microsoft package if that comes up then you should probably install it so now that Sandra Lite is installed you will notice here we have the launch Sandra box checked so when I click finish, Sandra will launch automatically. Alternatively, if you did not want to launch Sandra now, you could uncheck that and click finish. And when you were ready to run Sandra, come down to your start menu and it should be listed as a recent installed program. If it's not, just choose all programs and scroll down to the SI software folder. Another way to get to Sandra is to go to your control panel and you will see a SI software Sandra link listed here as well. You can click that to also launch Sandra. But since we have this box checked and we want to run Sandra to get our report, we'll go ahead and click finish. This will launch Sandra for us. Then you get some few tips here. We don't need to see any of this. We'll close it out. We're also done installing Sandra, so we'll close this browser window.